Hi everyone, this is Tammy at Tam's Creative Corner and I'm trying my hand at another Dutch pour today. So I started with a cradle board panel and I treated that and sealed it with wood sealer. Then I used my acrylic white paint mixed with Floetrol and some water to lay down that white base coat that you see. And then I use the same mixture. I use acrylic paint, Floetrol, and a little bit of water to mix up my colors. And I'm doing a magenta, a teal, a blue, and a brown. I think it's like a burnt sienna. And maybe mixed with a little copper. So I kind of mix and match. And I don't have an exact formula because I just mix to the consistency that I think will work good. And then I surround those again with that same acrylic white paint mixed with Floetron water. And I think what makes this a Dutch pour is the blowing, using the blow dryer to blow the white over your color pigments. And what that does is because the white paint's heavier, as it settles, the colors pop up and create cells. I'd love to know who came up with the Dutch pour technique just so I can give them credit and say thank you because this is a really fun technique. Then I'm going to go over it with my torch just to see if I can bring out some more color and cells before I move on and start manipulating it with straws and more paint. This part's kind of fun because I like to use a straw and start uncovering the color underneath and you never know what you might find under there once they've blended. And so yeah, this part's really fun and that's what I'm doing here is I'm just using my straw to create a little bit of a lacing effect, soften the edges and see what colors we can find underneath. As I keep working and playing with this piece, I'm not loving the composition so much. So you'll see that I'm gonna go back in with my white mixture. I really think it turned out in the end. And now I'm using a pipette to bring in some more of the color that I can't quite bring to the surface. Some of those blues and teals. And just to bring some balance in. And again, you'll see that I'm still not completely in love with the way the composition is. And I will bring in some more white paint and some more white negative space before I move on. And by the way, if you want to see how I prep my cradle board, I'll put a link above to a video showing you the sealer I use and how I prep these boards to get them ready to resin or acrylic pour paint on. Now I'm feeling a lot better about this piece. You see how much paint I did and how much manipulation I did. I have a hard time stopping and just letting it be whatever it ends up being when I pour it and push it around. So I like to, I'll go in and manipulate these until I feel good about them. And so that's what I did here. I added in a lot more white negative space and now I'm liking it a whole lot more. And I suppose it's just what you like and your preference. But that's what this one was telling me to do and so I just went with it. I also love to have the color kind of drip over the sides of the board. I just think it makes for a more interesting, pretty piece. So I let this dry until it's ready to work again. I did add a little bit of glitter glue because as you know, I love to create a little sparkle in my pieces. And then I move on to make that magic resin coat. I am working with art resin today and as usual, I will have all the links to the products that I can 
down in the description below so that you can see what supplies I've been using. Then I use, you, know, you can use a popsicle stick or whatever you have on hand. Even your hand works well. And I spread my resin out over the surface of the board, making sure it covers the edge. And I also like my sides to be resined. It just gives it more of a finished look and helps protect that paint. So that's what you see me doing here. And of course I go in with my culinary torch and that helps pop all the bubbles. And this is that final resin coat. I'd love to know your thoughts and so leave a comment below and let me know what you think. And if you want to hit that subscribe button that sure helps me out a lot. And if you ring the bell that lets you know when another video is launched. I really appreciate you guys. So get out there and make some art and make the world a prettier place and happy creating. We'll catch you next time.